Well, today is the day. It's the last day to enter our giveaway for the month of March. $200 worth of crazy goodness from a $100 Nintendo Switch PlayStation Xbox gift card to a $60 copy of Monster Hunter Rise to two $20 Nintendo Switch Xbox um, PlayStation or Hex PC as well, Steam uh, gift cards. It's four total winners. Be sure to head down to the description or the pinned comment to enter. And hey, why not make today the day that you subscribe to the channel? We're on our road to 70,000 subscribers. Uh, if we hit 70K, we have a rather big giveaway planned to celebrate that as well. That being said, let's get into this leak. I... I don't really want to call it a leak, even though supposedly the person himself calls it a leak. Um, a, a rumor might even be pushing it. I, I, I would say this is probably just some speculation. Uh, but it's speculation that obviously tickles the fancy and it gives me something that I really want to talk about. And that's obviously what the hell Nintendo's doing for the rest of 2021, uh, specifically after Skyward Sword HD comes out, because I don't think they really have any other major games planned before Skyward HD comes out. Um, obviously, we know about some of the games that they do have coming. We know about uh, you know Mario Golf Super Rush. That's obviously a game I'm really, really hyped for. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm really hyped for Mario Golf Super Rush. Uh, and then, yeah, there's other games, too, to look forward to. Uh, but uh, new Pokemon Snap, anyone? <laughs> but... Let's get into this because I got this information from HMK. He was on our podcast about a month ago. Great guy. Uh, and speaking of the podcast, be sure to tune in tomorrow. We have a new episode coming up featuring Holly Wolf. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she will be on that episode of the podcast for sure. And there might be one other guest on the podcast as well, although that's a little bit up in the air. Maybe I'll talk about that later. Um, let's get into this supposed leak because HMK doesn't really give a source on this. So I'm assuming the source is either a random forum somewhere or 4chan. So again, like 99.9% .9 chance, maybe even 99.9999 repeating chance that this is just straight bullshit. But it does give some interesting stuff in it that I think is worth talking about, especially in regards to how Nintendo can improve certain aspects of their company, certain aspects of the Switch, and certain aspects of their game lineup moving forward to keep that momentum going, especially if that Switch Pro and all that ends up being a legit thing, according to Bloomberg. So, in this leak, it starts off by saying that there's going to be a Nintendo Switch Online revamp, which, okay, but what kind of revamp are we talking about? Are, are we getting recommendations? Are, are you going to make it more Netflix-like? And really, it's N64, Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance, DS, GameCube, all of those games, not like the entire library, but those platforms would be coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Um, my, my issue with this is, one, I don't think Nintendo is apt to do that many platforms at once. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five platforms at once, and basically takes us up to the Wii era. Uh, I, I'm not so sure that Nintendo's doing that. There's a lot of money that can be made. We've already seen them remake some GameCube games and, and HD port GameCube games. So I, I, GameCube really feels like a massive stretch. Now, I, I think something like Game Boy is uh, more likely to be uh, an addition. I've talked about in the past how, look, if they're not willing to go with N64 because they value those games too much to put them in a cheap $20 service, Game Boy would actually make quite a bit of sense for them to do that. Those games aren't obviously as valuable. Yes, they did just remake Link's Awakening, but I don't think including Link's Awakening uh, on the online service makes people not want to buy the remake. Uh, the remake is fantastic. So I, I do think that they need to focus hard on, um, on obviously figuring out what they're going to do beyond NES and SNES because um, I, I think a lot of us have seen the NES and SNES stuff rehashed so many times. Uh, that we're ready for Nintendo to do something else. Uh, and in lieu of a virtual console, which virtual console did have some DS games, it did have some N64 games and all that, uh, it would be nice to see them expand the service. So, again, there's no way in hell this Nintendo Switch Online revamp with this many platforms is true. But then, you know, maybe Nintendo is doing something to surprise us all and... I would say if they choose to add this many platforms, they're doubling the price of the yearly subscription, bare minimum. But whatever, uh, it'd be cool if this happened. It's just probably not. Um, they do then say that we're uh, the next Nintendo Direct is going to have a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer and a 2021 release, which, again, um, that's what we all want, that 2021 release, although most people, I think, are expecting 2022. Uh, but Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, um, we, we do know... 
E.G. Noma did say we're going to get information on Breath of the Wild 2 later this year. So I don't think that this part right here is actually pretty believable that we're going to get a new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 this year um, at some point, whether it's the next director later. So this is kind of believable. 2020 release, 2021 release, if it's paired with the Switch Pro that's supposedly coming this year, that could make some sense. Uh, it has been in development for a long time, five years. So, like, it's been in development since 2017. So, this isn't, like, a game they rushed to cobble together. Um, they've taken as much time as they would with a, a brand new from the ground up Zelda game. So, uh, take that for what you will. Uh, and it does say that Zelda will be playable for some parts of the game. So, not, like, the main playable character throughout the game. Maybe think more like uh, either the way it worked in Spirit Tracks, uh, where uh, she, well, her spirit would take over, like, uh, um, oh, man. I, I forget what they're called again. Uh, but you they would take over this... Uh, this, this dude, and you would be able to control that dude so you partially control her. Also, there's been side quests and things like Majora's Mask with the Andrew and Kathy quest line where you got to play as somebody else. So I'm, I'm thinking more along that line where if Zelda is playable, it's just for some minor, small parts of the game. It's not really like this massive feature, although people will go giddy over it because there's been a lot of people that have been wanting a playable Zelda uh, for some time. So even having her playable for small portions uh, is going to excite some people. And here's the kind of sort of red flag, although not maybe as big of a red flag as you think, and that is what the official name of Breath of the Wild 2 is, and that's simply Breath of the Wild 2, or, you know, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2. Um, this does seem weird because Nintendo doesn't use numbered very often. Uh, they did do Zelda 2, but there was still a sub-name to that, The Adventure of Link. Technically, they have used numbered entries in Japan. A Link to the Past was called Triforce of the Gods, and then you had, uh, uh, what is it, A Link Between Worlds came out, and that was called Triforce of the Gods 2. Uh, funnily enough, they're not even direct sequels. Uh, well, actually, I think maybe they are. Now that I'm thinking of the canon, maybe they are. Anyways, the point is that, um, I was trying to think of the timeline. The timeline's ugh, all fuzzy in my head at the moment. But the point is that they technically have used that numbered entry before, just in Japan only. So it's not impossible for them to call it Breath of the Wild 2. And obviously, Breath of the Wild itself has a big cachet in terms of branding. So just calling something simply Breath of the Wild 2, kind of like The Last of Us 2, etc., uh, could end up being a, a, a major marketing and hype point. It might actually help the game, you know, sell more copies uh, because Breath of the Wild is a 20 plus million seller. And originally I thought, you know, a sequel is going to cap out at 10. But if they call it Breath of the Wild 2, I mean, the, the ceiling could just raise that much more because we've seen direct number sequels to super popular games uh, sell very, very well across the industry. So, I don't know if this is impossible. I think it's unlikely, but you know what? Crazier things have happened than putting a number in front of a very popular title. All right, uh, so we're going to get a new Skyward Sword HD trailer. I mean, that's not a surprise. I believe we're fully getting a, a new trailer or two, a uh, launch trailer for sure, before Skyward Sword HD comes out um, you know, this July. So that's not, that's not too surprising to me there. Um, they also were going to get a Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD announced for September of 2021. Although it doesn't say if these games are packaged together or not, I would assume them coming in the same month means they're packaged together as like a dual pack. Um, Nintendo tends to split up these games and release them on their own, but then we got Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So who knows? This could be kind of like their, um, their 3D Zelda All-Stars, but it's just the Wii U HD port twins. Uh, but whatever, the same September 2021, somewhat believable, given that we are <laughs> in the 35th anniversary of Zelda this year. So, uh, I mean, you can kind of see this beginning here, a, a lot of Zelda, 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 because, hey, 35th anniversary of Zelda, some of this stuff is, is fairly plausible. Um, but then we get into, obviously, the fact that it's also the 35th anniversary of Metroid. So, first up, Metroid 5 is revealed. Uh, and it's revealed as an internally developed game, so not like Retro Studios or something. We're talking developed at Nintendo of Japan um, and coming out in October of 2021. Um, calling something Metroid 5 is always interesting because there's a lot of debate over, like, what are Metroid 1 through 4? Um, and, and, you know, because there's technically, like, six games if you include Other M. So wouldn't it be, like, Metro? or there's already five games, I'm sorry, if you include Other M, so would it be Metroid 6? But then do we dismiss Other M? Um, it, 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 there, there's a lot of debate among Metroid fans, um, about that, but Hey, um, whatever, we don't get numbered entries that often. So they want to call it Metroid five and use whatever justification they can. That's, that's on Nintendo. It's their IP. Uh, next up would is a Metroid prime trilogy HD reveal. This thing has been long rumored forever. 
uh, and coming in June of 2021, which would be before Skyward Sword HD. Um, I think that's rather interesting that they would advertise Skyward Sword HD that comes out later before a game that's coming out sooner. And we technically already have the Metroid Prime trilogy on its own for Wii. So, like, they've already put these pa packed together. And, there again, it's been rumored that this Prime HD trilogy stuff has been done for years but just keeps getting delayed because they're they're waiting to time the release for Metroid Prime 4. Well, that's kind of interesting because according to this, you know, supposed leak rumor speculation, you know, the person claims it's a leak, but whatever, is a Metroid Prime 4 teaser. And I obviously don't think they're going to show us Metroid Prime uh, HD Trilogy until they're ready to show us Metroid Prime 4. So if they're going to show us Metroid Prime 4 this year, I do think we will see Metroid Prime Trilogy at some point. Um, so they're saying that this is... They're going to be a Metroid Prime 4 teaser and that there's going to be more information to come in 2021. Uh, more information to come is not a release in 2021, which I, I think none of us expect Metroid Prime 4 at all in 2021. Uh, 2022 is probably a much better target date, uh, which you know 2022 could line up pretty well with Pokemon Legends Arceus, Splatoon 3, um, you know, and hey, Metroid Prime 4, that's a pretty solid, uh, tr you know, three-pack of games for next year, and that's not even knowing anything else. Speaking of Splatoon 3, apparently, this is where, like, another ma major red flag comes up. Splatoon 3 Blowout, uh, specifically a lot more gameplay. I find this to be interesting because Splatoon 3 isn't coming out till 2022. I feel like they're going to talk more about 2021 stuff, but, um... I, I don't know. Uh, this is just kind of tossed out there. Uh, if it's an early, like if it's a January release in 2022, then I could maybe see, okay, we need to start hyping this up. But I still feel like they wouldn't do that till like closer to September. Like, you know, you got to like build up the summer games and the holiday games and not overshadow them too much. You know, you could tease games for 2022, but like doing a big blowout, I don't know. That just doesn't seem, I mean, we know the game's coming. So at least that's something, you know, it's been announced. We know for sure. It's just... I'm not sure that um, I can believe that's coming anytime soon. Maybe after summer, maybe August. I don't know. I mean, I guess they could show something at uh, E3, assuming Nintendo participates in E3, which we haven't had confirmation they're participating in E3 yet, um, the digital event. But the digital event's also not canceled, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, I presume Nintendo must be partaking because there hasn't been any word uh, one way or the other. And, hey, we're getting to like two months away, so... I'm presuming at this point uh, plans are getting locked in and they'll start advertising uh, stuff soon. All right, next up, Next Level Games uh, reveals their new game during this Direct called Punch-Out Ultra. I mean, uh, I'm not surprised to see Punch-Out come back. Punch-Out has gotten some support over the years. I'd rather see, obviously, a Star Fox game. Um, but, hey, you know, Punch-Out Ultra, nothing wrong with the new Punch-Out game. Nothing wrong with Little Mac getting some more time in the sun. Punch-Out is a franchise that's that's somehow stuck around for quite some time quite a bit longer than i think most people did especially with the revival on wii uh so yeah uh i i'm okay with that you know another punch out game there's psh, bring it on you know i i want more of nintendo's obscure franchises to come back including star fox including f-zero including wave race uh and many many others uh that nintendo has has abandoned over the years punch out hasn't been as abandoned as some of those like f-zero but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, whatever you got, you can't, not every game can be like a major seller. You, you're going to want to bring out games. Re, you know, the Switch is, is balling right now. It's a perfect time to revitalize franchises. Um, all right. Next up uh, is the game they cap off everything with, and that is a Super Mario Odyssey 2 reveal. Now, here's the thing. I, I'm cool with Super Mario Odyssey 2. I think a Super Mario Odyssey 2 is clearly in the works. Or if not, they abandoned it to go the Bowser's Fury Road. I don't know. We'll see. But I I feel like a Super Mario Odyssey 2 is in the works. I feel like the reason we didn't get DLC is because they had so many ideas, they decided just to make a new game. Uh, and it coming out in 2022, again, makes for a four-pack of 2022 games. That is just killer. Plus, it gives us a little break from the, the 35th anniversary of Mario. So, spacing things out a little bit. I, I could see that be impossible what, what's interesting though is they just ended their last direct with a major 2022 tease in splatoon 3 to end the next direct with a major 2022 tease in super mario odyssey 2 i i, I feel like that's just not something we uh, have we ever gotten back-to-back -back nintendo directs that had like a major game for the following year revealed at the end i'm not sure that we've ever had that like, I'm trying to think back in the history of directs. I can't remember a single time we've had back-to-back -back directs with a major year-off reveal of a new game, like two different new games. Um, 
But hey, you know what? Things happen. Things are crazy. Uh, this is the world we're living in today. Um, who knows what Nintendo really has up their sleeve. And then lastly, uh, is just when we can expect this direct. According to this leak report, rumor, I, not not report, okay, it will only report from that. Um, speculation, as I tried to call it earlier. Uh, April direct uh, is supposedly coming sometime in the du double digits. This would be like the 10th, 18th. Of course, that's going off traditional direct dates. Directs haven't been coming on traditional Thursdays anymore. Um, not since Furukawa took over. It's kind of all over the place. So, um, anyone that's not a weekend anyways, uh, that pretty much just means, hey, don't expect a Direct next week. But, like, any week after, there, there could potentially be a Nintendo Direct. Um, I, I, now look, this would be probably the most hyped Nintendo Direct ever, even though there's a huge focus on Zelda and Metroid. Uh, this would be some pretty major stuff. Oh, I'm not going to say bigger than an E3 Direct because... We've had E3 directs that, that were bangers in the past. And when you look at this direct, I mean, you think about Skyward Sword HD, The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, uh, Metro Prime Trilogy. Uh, those are all old games, right? So, like, half the direct being about old games would just kind of continue the nar narrative. The Switch has nothing to play but old games. But then you still have Breath of the Wild 2. You still have Metro Prime 5, Metro Prime 4, Splatoon 3, Punch-Out Ultra, and Odyssey 2. That's still six major, you know, to semi-major games. Uh, announced in this, or at least talked about. So I, 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 you know, I think maybe it's a good balance. Um, I feel like there would be more than just this, though. That's a lot of Nintendo first-party stuff. They usually have some third-party uh, things kind of sprinkled in as well. And the fact that none of that's in this leak makes me believe this is just a pipe dream. Uh, as as I said at the very beginning, th this is basically speculation. Um, some of it based in some things that we already know are real. We know Metro Prime 4 is real. Splatoon 3 is real. Skyward Sword HD is real. Breath of the Wild 2 is real. Uh, and the rest of them are pretty safe bets, but also bets that everyone wants to happen with no guarantee it's ever going to. We want the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD to come over. No guarantee it's going to, although we've had some journalists suggest they are. We still don't have a guarantee. Uh, Metro Prime 5, I think, or Metro 5, I should say. A lot of people want that. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. Uh, Metro Prime Trilogy HD Reveal. A lot of us believe that it's been ready for a while. Doesn't mean we're ever going to get it. Um, you know, a new Punch-Out Ultra game. Hey, look, if you're a Punch-Out fan, you're pretty hyped by that. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey 2. A lot of us really want Super Mario Odyssey 2. But this is like a massive reveal slate for what's an April Direct. And we have no guarantee just because Nintendo Directs are back. You know, I know for a while we were worried because of COVID uh, and not really having Directs in 2020 at all. Uh, at least not standard Directs. That Directs were gone. And then Nintendo came back and proved, hey, Directs aren't gone. Uh, you know, our... Can we expect this in a new Direct? I don't know. Uh, but I think it's uh, very interesting to talk about. It's fun to speculate. Uh, let me know what your guys' dream Nintendo Direct would be. Because I obviously think oh, this is just speculation and someone just just, just, just you know hyping things up and, and putting out their pipe dream. Um, you guys let me know what your dream Direct would be uh, down in the comments below. Uh, for me, it's just Zelda, 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 Zelda. What, what's actually disappointing in this leak is that the person that... that threw this stuff together, didn't consider Donkey Kong's 40th anniversary this year. Poor DK. I hope Nintendo doesn't just forget about you this year. You are, like, one of the main characters to kick off Nintendo as a video game company back in the arcade days. I really, really, really hope that they don't just ignore that it's your 40th anniversary because you predate, you predate the NES. So, anyways, folks, uh, I'm, I'm Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. This was a fun video. I'll catch you in the next one.